Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about inter-process communication. So there are various mechanisms using which two processes can interact with each other. But what we'll use here is the named pipes. So we will run one process, process 1 and we'll run another process called process 2. And we will send some messages from process 1 to process 2 using a named pipe. And then we'll have another pipe using which we'll send messages back from process 2 to process 1. So let's look at the code. So this is code for process 1. So we will open two pipes between process 1 and process 2. One is for writing and one is for reading. So process 1 will write in one pipe from which process 2 will read. And there will be another pipe in which process 1 will write and process 2 will read. So we have two file descriptors. One is for writing, one is for reading. We print this opening FIFO. A named pipe is also called FIFO in Linux. So this FIFO is just like a normal file and we can see that in file explorer but it acts like a named pipe. So we first define just two paths. This is the path for our FIFO file. So this is inside temp folder. We have my FIFO 1 and my FIFO 2. We use this mkfifo function to create the FIFO file. Its first argument is the path to the file and second is the permission. So if we check if the return value is equal to minus one, that means there was some error. And here we are checking if the error number is not E exist. So if it is E exist, so that would mean that this FIFO was already there and we do not worry because we just want that there is a FIFO at this particular path which we can use. We similarly create the another FIFO file and then we open both these files. So in process one, we open FIFO one for writing and we open FIFO two for reading. So we give uh, the respective file descriptor to these variables. And if we look at process two's code, we have similar code till this point where we define this my FIFO one, my FIFO two. We make these both FIFOs, but here we use my FIFO one for reading and my FIFO two for writing. So let's continue. So we print that FIFO was open and then we have two buffers. One is for process one messages and another is for process two messages. Now we execute this while loop and we first read the message from FD read, which means we want first message from process two and we read it in this buffer. We check if the message length is not zero, then uh, we continue and we print that this was the message received from process 2. We reset this uh, message from process 2 buffer and then we take in input some new message from the terminal for process 1 and we write it to the FD write file descriptor. So here we are reading a message from the first pipe and here we are writing to the second pipe using the write function. Then we reset this message from process 1 buffer. So this will execute in a while loop and in the end we close both uh, the file descriptors and we print FIFO closed and return 0. And in process 2's code we have a similar code till this point but here first we take in input some message from the user and then we write it to FD write. So we send some message from pipe 1 to process 1 and process 2 reads that message and then we read a reply from process 1 using this read function and we print out that message and then we again take in input this uh, message from process 2 and this we continue till we get a by in process 2 and finally we write an empty message to fd write so that in process 1 this while loop can exit so the length of message from process 2 will be 0 and it will break and then we uh, close both these file descriptors and we print out FIFO closed so let's uh, compile both of these programs and see the output mm, let's open two terminals all right uh, I'll compile process 1 and name the executable process 1 I'll similarly compile process 2.c okay and now I run process 1. So here if we see this process 1 is stuck at opening FIFO. Let's try to understand why it is stuck after opening FIFO. Uh, let's have a look at the code again. So what we are doing in process 1 is we are creating two FIFO files 
we then uh, open both these FIFA files, one for writing, another for reading, and then we print FIFA open. But it didn't print FIFA open, which means that it is stuck somewhere here. So it is stuck because in case of FIFA, the open goal blocks until there is another open for reading. So it is stuck after this point. So if we look at the man page of open, uh, man to open, and if we scroll down, so here it is mentioned that opening the read or write end of a FIFA blocks until the other end is also opened. So here, this uh, open call is blocking till we also open reading end of this pipe in some other process. So now if I execute process 2, only then can process 1 go ahead. So let's again open these terminals. Alright, so here I'll execute process 2. And once I uh, press enter, then you will see that it will print out open FIFO. So we have both the FIFO open in both the processes and process 2 is uh, showing us this cursor for input. So let's send some message hello from process 2 and we receive that message here in process 1. So here we can send messages back and forth between process 1 and process 2 using two named pipes. We can in fact see these FIFO files in the TMP folder. So let's uh, execute this ls tmp. So here you can see these two files my fifo1 and my fifo2. So these are those two fifo files. So that's it for this video. Thanks and have a nice day.